All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, chapter 23 of Dawn of the Aspects, the final battle approaches. So let's go. Malagos was currently following the ridge. Seemed like a good idea, considering that mysterious voice had said, follow the ridge a couple of minutes ago. And Kanak was excited to see what spectacular thing was waiting for them at the end, only to be immediately disappointed when they arrived, because there was sod all. The mountains opened up into a bowl-shaped valley, and Kalik felt really bothered by it for some strange reason. He didn't like this valley at all, and he had no idea why. But Malago simply saw it as another potential hiding place. Somewhere Galakrond would not search, or perhaps the giant beast had searched already. There was a stream in the area, so the Proto-Dragons landed for a drink and a think. They didn't fish though, thank god. None of the Proto-Dragons had ever had to think this much before in their lives. And as he looked at his four friends, Malagos wondered if they all felt just as sick and tired of this shit as he did. But his attention was then drawn to a rock downstream that was drifting. And since rocks don't usually drift, he fluttered up into the air and flew towards it. And he then veered back the moment he realised what it actually was. A proto-dragon body, but there was something peculiar about it. Neltharion then appeared next to him and made a big splash which startled the Icy Blue. Dead. Galakrond. We should destroy the body before it rises. No need. Won't rise. This is not living, but is again dead. What? Notharion prodded at the corpse. It had indeed been rotting before its second death, if you could call it that. How can not living be not living again, unless we destroy it? Kallik considered a few answers to that question. Perhaps some other proto-dragon had defeated it. Or maybe it just collapsed for no reason. Nah, that's stupid. There was no evidence of either of those two things having occurred. Meanwhile, Malagos leaned in closer to investigate. His sharp sense of smell detected another scent. And as he poked the body himself, a part that had not yet been touched by the flowing water simply crumbled to ash, and the stench Malagos had smelled increased tenfold. Galakrond. No, not anymore. What do you mean? Even Kalek was having a hard time following Malagos' thoughts at the moment. They weren't making much sense, but the Icy Blue then elaborated. Galakrond was here. He devoured this not living. Notharian shot him a look, as if to say, You what, mate? And the other three, who had joined just in time to hear Malagos' declaration, gasped. Galakrond ate it? Already ate it alive. Why eat it dead? No meat, no life. What's the point? Not living move, but a dead. Dead but move. Kallik was the first to grasp what the bloody hell Malagos was trying to say, but Asira comprehended soon enough. Not living move. Something moves them. Not blood, not life, but something. They have not life. The Proto-Dragons had not long lived in a world full of undead, but they had come to grasp an important point. There was some essence that drove these animated corpses. Almost a parody of the life essence that drives the living and that Galakrond had been absorbing, which made calling it not life actually kind of appropriate. But why had Galakrond started to absorb this not life essence all of a sudden? Malagos then discovered a possible reason. He raised his head and looked off in the distance, seemingly listening for something in particular. Silence. No cries. No calls. All fear Galakrond. All flee. Or hide. Or die. Galakrond still grows. Needs food. But there's nothing left. Nothing big enough. Except not living. Great. Galakrond had done such a good job of eating everyone that food had become hard to find, but he still needed to eat, so he was basically doing, like, double cannibalism or something. And Kallek was particularly concerned what this change to his diet was going to do to his continuing metamorphosis. What was he going to turn into now? Malagos then decided, enough of this shit, but he was still reluctant to involve his friends in what was definitely a suicide mission. Must face Galakrond. Now. Alone. No. We are family. We fight together. Always. Yes. We fight together. You goddamn better believe it. But Malagos remained concerned for his companions. Yes, they'd grown as close as family, but they weren't family. They were all different. The only way this could possibly work was if he made certain he guided them as best as possible, using each of their different skills to their maximum potential. Tia had led them well enough, but Tia was not a proto-dragon. They needed to plan like proto-dragons in order to fight against a giant proto-dragon. But all that being said, Malagos didn't even want to be making all of these bloody decisions. And Alexstrasza must have picked up on his concerns because she immediately stepped up. Notharion, how do your kind fight? Show us. Notharion loved that idea. He spread his wings and began displaying the fighting skills of his family. But the vision then shifted, obviously skipping past the others displaying their skills and abilities to each other as well. The five were now perched atop a crooked peak, watching and waiting. Malago seemed pretty restless, but a thought then popped into his head. Must bring him to us. Must make our presence known. So he let out a roar. As he expected, it echoed throughout the mountains, but it still wasn't really loud enough. Alex Strauser then raised her head and repeated his call, and soon enough, all five were shouting as one. Their combined cries would definitely be enough to draw Galakron's attention. And then, the sound of very large wings arose from the east. 
and Galakrond, even bigger than he was the last time, flew towards them. And confident that the others knew their parts, Malagos took flight and flew towards the charging behemoth. And we're leaving it there! Finally! The final battle begins! And there's only five videos left, so... This story took its time getting to this point. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying the book. Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page too. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!